we ask the four exceptional musicians of the Del Sol Quartet to attempt to play a relatively unknown piece by Russian composer Alexander Glazunov. However, we have distorted the score, making the notes unexpectedly difficult to interpret. Usually there'd be, you know, about a measure or so of just chaos as I was just doing, again, went back to sort of general shape interpretation and then, then I would latch onto something else and start going again, but there was no system to it. Expectations dashed, the piece has become a train wreck. Okay, give me a minute. Talk about something else. Well, that's why my out. brain has been twisting around in circles. But that's that's the way I see it. It's just like a, we what B, you're, what we see, we read B, down a step, C, and then add an extra ledger line on top. So right, right. That's actually you know technically that's not transposing, isn't it? I see what you mean. It's just reading. It's insane. It's, yes, yes. You know so what wait, I'm. What would, what you know what I'm doing? I'm, loc I'm loc right now. I'm locating one note, and then I'm going by intervals. <laughs> Ambiguous signals and discordant sounds begin to give way to a new meaning, which they now test. So, how would your melody fit best in D minor? Yeah, that's like, I think it's a step off. So. That sounds right, and then there. That sounds right. Don't play what's there, Miles Davis wrote. Play what's not there. Notes and cues, rhythms and gestures, years of training, a history of music making. All of these have led the quartet out of confusion into music. For me, there's, there's a sense that you know, every note fits into a puzzle or whatever. We're all part of this one piece. And as you play it, you hear it fitting in. Probably the best place for us all to be is sort of in a zone that's very much in the present moment and very much in the music making at that moment. When I can find that with myself and then with the rest of the group, that to me is where the magic happens. Mm -hmm. 